Oh, hi. You guys. Guess you came here to see the part number two or day number two of the big bandsaw mill build and you came to the right place but first and foremost I would like to say that I'm currently uh, packing the car again for day three of uh, the Katrina Holm Big Elms video series uh, and uh, I will be going there uh, early tomorrow morning uh, but uh, I'm gonna show you what you came here to see but first grab some coffee because it's time good morning it's day two of the B1000 hydraulic build uh, I'm uh, currently made one of the two frame beams and uh, got the last part to uh, be stuck on it and then I'm going to continue with the second part and then we got some uh, leveling feet and uh, log shelves. Uh, before we mount the trailer kit. That's what's up for today. Uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed with all the parts that came with the with the, the mill. Uh, I'm uh, glad that I actually cleaned out this place yesterday. No, no, not yesterday. Uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, got the, the space for it because it takes a lot of space. Uh, the the blueprints for the saw is also not the best. Uh, I've been talking to uh, some people that build ha have have been building uh, these, uh, and they just tell me to jump forth and back in the blueprints. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Guess it uh, uh, will be interesting today. Uh, but let's get on it.
största hatar på sig. Alla som kan någonting. You don't apply lock tight like that. Stupid. What are you, an animal? I've never seen anybody in my entire life put on lock tight like you do. Bet you... Ja, den där har mosat. Ja, jag tänkte att du har lockt dig till att skruva åt den. Ja. So right now I will be starting and mounting the the leg holders uh, and it's a set of I think it's six so uh, let's get into it. So guys, we're getting somewhere. Uh, the, the
the frame is done, the part, two parts of the, the cart frame. Uh, now I've been mounting the front of the trailer kit and it's time to put on the legs. The, I heard that the first part is a bit tight, so you need to open her up in the bottom end. Uh, yeah, that sounded funny, but you need to make it as wide as you can. I put the piece of wood in between uh, to get the legs in because it was a bit tight and it scratched uh, the paint a bit, but I'm almost there. So uh, and when that's done. You have, uh, when that's done, you have to pre-roll the bolts for an exact measure. I just took one of them and uh, made it like a reference. Uh, and the holes on the back side of the, uh, along the outside of the mill is actually made to be, uh, what do you call it, like a, it's a hexagon hole, so it's... ...done for the, for the, the actual bolt it, itself. Let's see if I can get it to... not too much of a distance to hit it. Also looks like the holes are a bit off. Is that what I would say? If you see that, it's uh, not too much to move there, and it's not too much of a gap over underneath either. So I'll try to jiggle that up before I go to any more drastic uh, methods. Apply the, the last piece of pressure to get these bolts to go where it should. And it's still not like a good fit. It's just above, but I'm also bending out the the steel by using the threads to push it in. So it should be like a little bit higher. It looks like the holes are in a good dimension, but it's just like a little bit off. Which sucks.
so to get the bolt to actually go where it needs to go you will be needed to apply some force so I just got one side to line up and we still have some issues with this one because it's way too high and you need to push this down before you even can try to get it to move inside and that's the task itself we need to find some kind of wood to use as a push stick or something Let's see if this even remotely works. Uh. Well, it did. Just got a couple more bolts to do the same with. it in instead of smacking it in So that's it for day two of the sawmill build. I'm uh, while you watched it, I'll actually pack the car, so it took about the same time. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, I will go in and cook some food. Probably just turn on the barbecue and flip some burgers, cause it's an awesome day. Lovely weather. Uh, take care. And uh, if you liked what you saw, please don't forget to subscribe.